So a couple of months back, I made a video on the channel that targeted a very specific demographic. I knew while making the video that it won't get tons and tons of views, especially from my existing subscribers, but it got more engagement than I originally expected. It was something that I liked to do. So here's a second installment into that playlist of videos. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to organize your video media library, your TV shows and your movies. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. So once you've got your media, whatever your source might be, don't really care where you get it from. But once you've got it, make sure your shows and movies are in two separate folders. Now, while I don't really change the file name for the movie, since they're already in a certain manner that isn't really bad for organizing, I do like to rename all of my TV shows in a certain manner so that it's all consistent and looks good. Now to do that, I like to use a piece of software called Name My TV Series. It's free, it's small, it works great. And all you need to do is search for the TV show that you want, select the episodes that you would like to rename, add them to the renaming column, and then drag the ones that you would like to rename from your Finder or Explorer window to the renaming column. And what the software tries to do is analyze the file name and arrange everything accordingly. And once everything is A-OK, -okay, just go ahead and click on the rename files and you're pretty much good to go. And if you had any kind of linked subtitle.sat files with the episode, it'll also go ahead and rename that for you. After everything is renamed for the media management part, I've been a big fan of Plex. And I wouldn't go in too deep for all the features on how it actually works. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments so I can make a separate video about that. But once the video files are renamed and are in their respective directories, I refresh the Plex library and it picks up any new information, any new files in those directories and downloads additional information like episode briefs, the cast, trailers, etc, etc. And once the processes are all finished, you can view and play whatever files that you would like directly from the Plex library itself. And you've got a dashboard that keeps track where you left off in the series that you were binge watching or a movie that you were watching. And if you've got a Plex pass, something that I've been actually saving up for a while now, you can even play this media back onto your phone, tablet or stream it to your TV from basically anywhere in the world. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now there are some things that I would like to change in the future to make everything a little more seamless. But for now, this is what I do to keep everything organized and arranged for my consumption needs. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Subscribe for more future content like this. If you arrange your media in a different way, let me know in the comments or tweet at me at virtualyakshay. That has been it. See you in the next one. Live long and prosper.